Yeah. They said only of your first wives were disappointed yeah. as elders from Gisi ruling house, Storms Akure, with uh, a lot of drinks and cola to bring Queen Naomi back to the palace. <laughs> Wonder shall never end, though, my people. When I hear this information, I said, now, wow, now, wow, now, wow. If these people uh, continue with this zeal right now, if they are truly uh, sincere that they want to kind of do kind of rescue mission for KBAC, I'm sure they will achieve something good. Yes, that is if at some point they don't start to divide themselves you know, some will be fighting the movement and all of that. Or maybe the Oloris will start using to bribe them, you know, because they are good at bribing elders. But at this point, I believe that these people know what they really want. Reason is because they have seen that if they do not do what they are doing right now, something big might befall them and it is not going to be a good one. So they have started a damage control at all costs, as in they have started to do it as much as they, they can. And it is getting to all these oloris badly. They never expected it. And that is why I said if they continue like this without... Uh, because you know that these oloris, they are very good at... Uh, using dollar to bribe these women, these uh, elders, especially when they find out that they are not working in their favor. They will always want to use money to get them to their side. But judging from the information we are hearing that uh, every one of them is running Helter Skelter to save the situation because if anything happens to KBAC, it is going to affect all of them because the truth is that the leadership will leave their family and go to another. And they will all blame themselves. And that is why we are hearing that they have decided to go to Akure to go and beg Queen Naomi's people that they are really sorry that they have kept quiet all this while, expecting KBAC to do the needful. But it looks as if he is not able to do it due to the kind of women that he gathered in his palace. They said the elders told the Akure people that KBSC loves Queen Naomi with everything in him. And that is why he is finding it so difficult to let Queen Naomi go. That is not all about the, the covenant. Because at some point, it's beginning to look like uh, they really want Queen Naomi back into the palace because of the covenant that uh, might be for them. If, because of the covenant KBSC had with Queen Naomi and KBSC broke the covenant... Because if anything happens, it's going to affect KBSC more. It might not even affect Queen Naomi because Queen Naomi is not the one that took the oath. And again, she, she's not the one that go against the oath and all of that. So, But these elders are telling the Akure, uh, Queen Naomi's paternal home that it is not about the covenant, that KBSC love their daughter so dearly. you know. But his problem is the women in his palace that they are the ones manipulating him. That most of this decision you see him making, that he is not doing it with, their clear, with his clear eyes. And they just notice, they just find out, they thought he, he knows what he was doing until this last one that he's doing. They, it, is now, it is now that they ask questions, they went on inquiries, they find out that KBAC needs help and they are out to help him. <laughs> If all the information we are hearing about this DC elders right now is the truth, that is to say that there is hope for KBAC and Queen Naomi. Yes, so. Because at first we heard that these DC ruling elders have decided that this Oloris must take an oath to protect KBAC and the throne. And never to hurt anyone who is dear to KBSC or never to hurt KBSC in any way. And if that information is true, that any one of them who will bring problem or bring any juju, the main part where they should concentrate, they should concentrate on this juju of a thing or these their deities that they used to bring into the palace. Because without that juju deity, witchcraft, all those uh, manipulations, uh, they might not be able to... Uh, Brings cause much problem to KBAC. 
But you know, when they bring in those juju them, those deities, those foreign things that they bring into the palace, those things will start bringing confusion into KBSC's life. He will not do, know what he is doing. He will not know. His, uh, he will say this today and tomorrow he will uh, uh, deviate to another thing. So they said these people have made it clear that the Oloris must swear that they are not going to bring those things inside the palace or use juju in the palace, juju of any type again in that palace. Any one of them that tries it, that the gods that they swear with will take care of them. Right now, they said they have given the Olori seven days to go and think about it. That if you are not ready to do that, you should be ready to leave the marriage, whether you like it or not. And another decision they have taken is helping Parupo to send uh, their children from their ex-husbands out of the palace. Because there is no how their children will be in the palace enjoying why uh, Tadenika will who is the the real son of the king who will be out there and they said these Gusi uh, elders are achieving something ever since they started taking charge because it's like they have taken charge <laughs> remember that we heard that Kabiyasi's brother have told Igbi and Blow Blow who said they said Blow Blow said that Kabiyasi's decision to send them out or to divorce them is a decision he made while he was drunk. <laughs> they said the brother to Kabiasi did not take that, that statement lightly. That he had promised them that if there's anything they can do to send them out of that palace, that they are going to do it. And maybe he was uh, saying it based on the action that these uh, uh, elders will be bringing on. I don't know. But right now, they said, when the Oloris find out that these elders are not stopping until they bring back Quinami into the palace, they said they became frustrated. They became very, very angry. <laughs> hey, anyways, let's just watch and see. This time around, they are not leaving Kabiyasi at the mercy of these women again. They are now taking charge. And it's good. It's good because it's obvious that these people don't see KBSC finish. There is nothing KBSC will say to them that will mean anything, you know. But these elders, they still respect those ones. But my own is this. Let it not be that uh, maybe within a week or two weeks' time now, we'll start hearing that uh, Igbi have decided to divide these elders by using money to uh, uh, make some people to speak in her favor or in the favor of this other Oloris, because that is one thing they are very good at. So, right now we are hearing that these people have gone to Akure, begging that Quinami's uncle, the one that is in Australia, the elder brother, to talk to that one in Australia, so that they will talk to Quinami, to give KBC another chance, that this time around they are not leaving it all to KBC, that they are being involved, and they hope to achieve something good out of it. That is what we are hearing. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. Now here, I hear. And as I hear, now so I the share. Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.